It's weirdly familiar loading up sim airports for a couple of reasons. One, I've played this game before. I played it years ago here on the channel and I had a pretty good time with it. And two, well, we've just got done playing airport CEO here on the channel as well, which if you're interested in checking out that series, there will be a link in the video description and in the pinned comment as well. Now today with sim airports, while it is familiar and while I feel relatively confident in being able to play this, I am going to be leaning on a couple of crutches. So we are going to be starting a new game and we are going to be playing career mode. We have $450,000 in starting cash with a medium sized map that we can expand later on, but we're not going to be starting from scratch. And that is going to be crutch number one and possibly the most, let's say, controversial. Now, the game does recommend that new players do not start from scratch and that they use the starter airports to get right into it and get playing the game right away. And I am, I feel, new to Sim Airport despite having played it before. That was years ago, like I said, and despite having just finished Airport CEO, because they are different games. They do play differently. They look differently. Uh, they The controls are a bit different, and that's fine. I'm just curious to see how well we can do here with the starter airport, and it's always fun to take something that someone else has built and renovate it a little bit and expand on it and see what we can end up doing with it. Now, in terms of airlines, we're going with the default 16, although I do have a bunch of them downloaded from the Steam Workshop. The reason I'm not using them is because there are small, large, and extra large aircraft stands in this game, and not every one of the custom airlines are set up to have small, large, and extra large aircraft. So I don't want the game getting a little bit weird. And again, with me feeling relatively new to this, I feel it's only right to stick with the default airlines. If I can add these ones in later on, then I absolutely will. And then the second crutch that I mentioned is government grants. Now, government grants operate very similarly to the grants in Prison Architect. So essentially, I will be given a certain amount of money up front for a certain challenge. And then if I complete the challenge, I get more money. That's essentially what grants are, and they kind of give you a little sense of progression as we're working on the airport. I'm also not sure how I managed to just have a big gust of my breath or wind, I guess. I, I hit the microphone. That's what that noise was. I don't know how well it picked up, but there's like a really chunky windshield on the microphone. So that's actually kind of impressive. I, I might have hit something. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with some sim airports. And here we are. We have a lovely little starter airport right here. We have a runway up this way, which is 90 tiles long. It's currently got 100% on its maintenance condition. And we have our single small aircraft stand right down here, which is connected to this gate agent desk. Now this is our secure zone. We have a security check right here. We have some restrooms in the secure zone as well as the uh, the public zone as well. We have our ticketing space where passengers can get their tickets to then go through security and get on the flight. And we have baggage claim down here as well. I don't think I need to explain what that one is. Uh, outside, again, similarities to Prison Architect. We have drop-offs, we have pickups, we have deliveries and storage. And up at the top, we have garbage as well. So essentially, garbage will get collected and taken away. This is where things get dropped off and people get dropped off. This is where things get picked up. And this is where deliveries come in. And then if we have them left over, they get moved into storage. All kind of self-explanatory. Now, while this is the starter airport for Sim Airport, there is some work that I want to do here before we get things up and going. And to start with, that's actually going to do with some government grants because we have this one right here, this tier one grant, which is uh, hygiene requirements, which wants me to hire at least two janitors, place 10 litter bins and get the passenger environment satisfaction to at least 
Now that's actually kind of easy. And if I accept that, I'll get $5,000 up front and a reward afterwards of 12,000. So let's go ahead. We'll accept that grant and we'll get to it. So right away, we need more janitors. We have one already, which we can see right here. We actually have three members of staff, three security officers, two workmen, which actually we're going to bring that up to a total of six. So that's plus four to the two that we have. Uh, janitors will go plus one, giving us two. And we have no chefs and no retail workers because we don't need them right now. And that's fine. Looking back at the grant, we now have the two janitors. So let's go into the build menu down here and let's get some bins. So we'll just dot these everywhere is what I'm thinking. We need 10 of them. So that's one, two, three, and four. That's going to be five and six and seven. And then what we'll do is go eight, nine. And where do we want to put where, where are we going to put a 10th one? I guess a 10th one can sort of go in that corner. So that'll be 10 bins around the place as well. And then the last part of that was a passenger environment satisfaction level of 16%. Now, to do that, we're going to need some passengers and we just don't have any right now. So we're not going to worry too much about it. And instead, what we're going to do is start looking at some other uh, things that we can do for the passengers. Because if we have a little look at the bottom right here, we have some overlays and the one at the top is an information overlay. And what's interesting about this game versus airport CEO is that I can go into objects. I can go to something like ops and I can get flight info displays and it actually has got an information sort of aura from it. So we can see the radius that it goes out there, goes out a good few tiles, gives information to passengers in that area. They can come up and look at it and get information about their flights or we can use a large one, which gives this kind of shape. So what I'm thinking is we do a nice large information stand right there, and that'll give info to everyone in this area. They can go and look at it and see what's going on with their flights. And what we can do is go to comfort. We can get some benches. We'll go for, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with these ones. I don't think there's any difference other than visuals in the benches. And while these ones look very comfortable, these ones here are definitely more airport to me. Even these ones are pretty airport-ish. In fact, these ones are more airport than I think. Like, these guys look like you're waiting in a bit of a cheap bus station. These ones are kind of like, yeah, you're in an airport. And these guys are, well, actually, I have seen things like these in airports as well. But there's usually only one or two rows of really comfortable seats and they're always full. So let's go with bench C since we have got some variety in what we can get there. They are the cheapest looking, but we'll go for it. And what we'll do is we'll go and place some seats right there and some seats right there. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. And I think what we'll do even further is kind of dot them around. Let me just cancel you. Uh, we'll dot them around a bit like this. So we have this nice cluster of seating right in the middle. And then what I can do is go to decor. And if I turn on the environment overlay and I go and get some decorative bushes, we can see that these things are actually going to be pretty good for making this area a little bit more pleasant. And what I'm thinking we'll do as well. Oh my God, that thing's huge. Uh, we'll just vary it a little bit with uh, some flowers at the corners and then some regular bushes in the middle. And that'll make that area just that little bit more pleasant for everybody to kind of chill out in and uh, wait to go and get their tickets or wait to go through security or whatever it might be. And that'll all get built in time. We have the things getting delivered down here. We have the workmen going and doing their thing. And uh, let's see how well that goes if I speed things up. There we go. So the seats are going in. I'm not really 100% sure that I'm sold on the blue, and I don't think I can change it in this game. So I'm thinking we're probably going to have to deal with that. But that's okay. We'll not worry too much about it for the time being. That's at least going to be a nice seating area and a nice information area for everyone in that space. But I do want to get some queues up here. And this is another difference with Sim Airport that I absolutely love. I love that I can just build my own queues however I see fit. So if I do this right here, I get a queue. And if I do this right here, I get a queue. And we'll actually go and do the same thing over this way as well for the uh, for aircraft boarding. We'll go ahead and do something like this for a little bit. That's going to be 15 and that's fine. And then what we have to do 
plain and simple is click on you and assign to that queue which is going to be for uh, coach and first class passengers combined we'll close that little menu and over this way what we do is we click on you assign to this queue we could assign it to both but we're not going to and we're going to assign you to that queue as well and that's going to let people go through and get their tickets go out do their thing go through security and uh, queue up for the flights over there so that gives us some seating some queues and uh well more queues essentially although we probably do want more seating in this area as well but what's more important than all of that is going to be getting some flights going and right now it's all well and good that we've got some seats and we've got some queues we've got some info and some decorations but if we look at this we have no flights we have no flights whatsoever they are being offered but we don't have any actually scheduled for gate a1 so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to filter up here by going to small flights only and we're going to be getting a.m and afternoon flights right now because we can't have evening flights and we can't have early a.m flights either the reason we can't have evening flights is because we don't have any runway lights so what i can do is i can upgrade the runway with some runway lights and that'll give us some evening flights which will be fantastic i also want to look at the ops panel because i want to see so this is taking arrivals and departures i could turn those off although i need to research aviation ops which is something we'll get to in a little bit there is a full research panel we can research all of this stuff but that's that's going to be for later on for right now uh we should have someone heading up shortly there we go to upgrade the runway and once that's done we'll go ahead and start scheduling some flights i don't think there's any point in doing it while we can't do at least the evening flights so this will be done in no time at all it's now done we've got our lights so we'll slow the game back down we'll bring up this menu and see what we can do and as you can see we've got some uh, some evening flights now being offered so we're still going to be filtering by small flights only small planes only and what we'll do is we'll go to west jet and we will accept a single morning and a single afternoon flight so we'll accept all of those we can go to aero time and they are offering let's see a single morning two afternoon two evenings we'll accept all of those and let's get those flights scheduled before i start accepting more so we have this morning flight here gonna be coming in at 6 a.m we have this one gonna be going at 8 a.m we have afternoon right here for noon and then we have 2 p.m and we have 4 p.m then we have evening at 6 and 8 which means we can get one more morning and one more evening so let's go to pacific airlines and take their morning flights and we'll take an evening flight and we'll get those in there as well so this guy's going to be 10 p.m this guy is going to be 10 a.m and now we have nine flights scheduled for tomorrow because they're not going to be coming in today that's one thing this game doesn't do it doesn't have flights land on the same day that they're scheduled so we are going to be waiting until tomorrow to actually see those flights come in but that's okay there's still a little bit of work to be done in the departures area and in the check-in area as well because we have a queue and we have passengers on the way but what we don't have are any seats for them so let's go back into objects and comforts and i'm thinking this time around we'll go for bench b we'll go for the uh the sort of sofa looking seats right here and i think what we'll do is a little something like this and a little something like this so the, we've got that extra little bit of space right there for them to kind of chill we could maybe do something like that or even well we could do something like this actually because the thing is they go and queue up they go around they come in here and then they go onto the plane and this will be a way out for people that are getting off of the plane so that that might actually work right there and i think i'm okay with that but i do i do want some info displays for these guys as well so let's give them a an information kiosk thing which is just like a little information table i'm just not sure where it should go to be completely honest maybe here maybe here i don't think it really matters too much uh but we'll just we'll let the benches get built first actually 
so that we can see what the area is actually going to look like. That's, that's, that's maybe a little bit cramped, but I think that's okay. I don't think it's the end of the world. And I'll tell you what else we're going to do, because we still have $421,000. Why don't we go ahead and make sure that the airport is going to be nice and busy? Because I do think we have enough money to get away with a small aircraft gate. And I, we do obviously have the room. And the whole point of this starter airport is quite clearly to build a second gate right there. So let's do that. Let's search for a door. And we'll get a little sliding door right about there. Let's search for a gate agent desk, which can go right about there. And what we'll do is we'll get ourselves a queue that's going to go right about here as well. So we're going to have a nice bit of symmetry back and forth here. And then if I go in and go to comfort, I can sort of do similar. I think, well, I can do, I can do sort of similar with, uh, with the, the benches in here. So we can do that sort of thing. We could get more in the middle if we really wanted to, which probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. It probably, probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to get more benches in there. So let's do this and let's do this. And we could do another row of them down here as well. And I think that's going to be a really good amount of seating. I do. In fact, you know what? Let me cancel you and cancel you. Let me go for these slightly smaller ones. Just there and there. And if I go to ops, I can get a nice big info display facing this way. And I think I can get some decorations in there as well. And I think that'll look pretty good. I think that's a pretty good little layout. So it gives them info about the flights right there. Plenty of seating around the space as well. And it's also going to give us that extra that extra stand for more flights to come in. So I think that's going to be pretty solid. Although we are going to need another member of staff. So let's get you hired ahead of time. So you can go ahead and work on the gate agent desk. Which will need to be assigned to this stand and will need to be assigned to that queue. But that will happen in good time. And I guess what we can also do while we're waiting and while we're spending a whole bunch of cash. Is we can do some stuff with flooring because I do want this place to look kind of interesting. So let's go for, oh, I've just noticed that carpet actually gives us plus 5% movement, which is really kind of cool, actually. That's, that's kind of neat. Yeah, so bare concrete has no movement bonus. All right, uh, I want to go with this. I think if we're going with blue, we're going to stick with blue. So this entire space is going to be that carpet. That space is going to be carpet as well as is all of that space and then for this corridor let's go for a bit of a darker blue just to make it a bit different and then this space back here i actually kind of want to go with like a wooden floor so let's go for this nice light wood floor here in all of those spaces and then the restrooms plain and simple gonna be some tiles so right here right about there and right about there and right about there and that's gonna be a lot of work that is going to be a lot of work for my uh, my workmen to be doing, but we got some time. It's only it's only coming up on 4 p.m. in game right now, and we don't have any flights due until tomorrow. So you know, plenty of time to do everything that we need to be doing. I also don't know if they're going to be building everything in order of when I placed it. So let's just prioritize some things. Let me prioritize that door. Let me prioritize that desk. And that way, we can go ahead and get uh, everything set up a little bit sooner. So we should see these guys coming over. Yep, there's the desk done. There's the door done. So we'll assign you to that desk. And then we close that menu. We assign you to that queue. And we close the menus. And now we should have, yep, we have gate B1, which is ready for more flights. So... Let's let the game run in the background while we're sorting this out. We're going to go to Pacific Airlines. In fact, we're going to make sure there are only small flights. So let's accept you guys from Pacific Airlines. Oh, slight issue. And I forgot about this. We have 10 flights scheduled. We need an air traffic control tower to get more than 10 flights. So we might have to wait a little bit. We might, we might have to wait a little bit. I'm not 100% sure if I want to wait. 
but we might have to. Although I really, you know what? I really don't want to. Let's do it. Let's build an ATC tower. So air traffic control tower allows scheduling of more than 10 flights per day. I'm feeling like it could go right in there. It can't go right in that space. Uh, it can't be too close to a taxiway. So let's, I guess, place it down here or up here. I mean, it could go out that way, but I, I think this is probably the best spot for it for the time being. So air traffic control tower, $30,500 to get that built. But honestly, I think it's going to be worth it. And this area here, honestly, once this is all built, I think that's going to look really good too. And there we go. We have the air traffic control tower. We have all the carpet done. We have the wooden floors done. The place is actually looking kind of decent, which makes me very happy. And what's more is we have 12 flights scheduled to come in. So that is going to be very, very good for us. And we should... We should start seeing some passengers arrive at about 3 in the morning. It's 1.30 in the morning at the minute. So I'm going to slow the game down just a little bit because I do want to do a little bit of decoration. I want to go ahead and I want to get some decorative bushes here. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of them just there and there. And it's very tempting to put them up here as well, but I think we'll just leave that be. Uh, just to make sure that the place is actually as decorative as I want it to be. Because in theory, as soon as the passengers start arriving, we should, we should be able to get the, uh, get this, uh, this first grant done as well. So any second now, we should be seeing some people showing up. It's three in the morning. And what have we got? We've, there we go. So the passengers are coming in. They're going straight into the queues. They're going straight through security as well. They're checking the bags. And they're going and grabbing a seat. And we should have a look here. Environment is 68%. So that should mean that, yep, that grant is done. Now, the next tier is to build a functioning kitchen and cafe. I don't know that I want to do that yet. So let's have a look at airline services and see what they want from me. So assign at least one rep each to three airlines. Have 12 flights scheduled and build a runway with wind resistance of 15 knots. I don't know how to assign representatives to airlines at the moment, but I'm sure that's something that we'll learn and that we'll figure out. What about investments? Research finance, accept a loan, and then build an office and assign a CFO. Okay, airport efficiency is research technology, hire a chief technology officer, zone an electrical zone with an amplifier, and place eight PA speakers. Now that I will do, because that takes us into research, and takes us into technology. So let's start researching technology. And uh, that's going to take us 10 hours, which is totally fine. What else did it want me to do in there? Zone, an electrical zone with an amplifier. So zones. What exactly is an electrical zone? This is where you'll run many of your airport's wires to, including much of your low voltage audio wiring. Interesting. Requires a fully enclosed space with this. This is where you'll run many of your airport's wires to. That's weird. That's a weird way of wording that is, is what that is. That is a, hmm. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how the PA system is necessary. Can I just, so can I just make everything an electrical zone? Or is that, is that a bit weird? So those, that's, that's technically all an electrical zone now. Oh no. What is this? Requires, uh oh. Okay, yeah, so no. No, 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 no. Do, do, no, do not do that. <laughs> do not do that is what we've learned today. Um, requires enclosed space. Those are no longer bathrooms. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, so it turns out that, uh, that yeah, we probably don't want to do that. Uh, so that is that is a, a restroom now. That is a restroom. This is, is a restroom. And then this is no longer enclosed. Okay. Well, today today we learned not to do that. That's that's good. So this is, is not a zone. And this is not a zone. And this, oh boy, is also not a zone. Uh, let me just de-zone all of that as well, I guess. That's a little, little bit awkward there, but I'm sure we're all right. I think I fixed everything. I absolutely have. So how does an electrical zone work? 
this is where you'll run many of your wires to including okay so that's audio wiring right so it needs to be its own room is what that tells me so what if i was to go into construction and i go into foundation and i say give me some foundation here right so that's going to be its own little little space and then i want to go to doors and i want a sliding door right here and this is going to be like a little corridor for admin buildings is is what i'm thinking there and we'll see how that ends up going but oh i hear it there it is we have a plane we have a plane ladies and gentlemen we have two planes that's kind of exciting that is that is kind of exciting i'm gonna be honest that makes me very happy we also have a tremendous number of people trying to get through security and uh, every single one of them has needs as well so you are thirsty you're hungry you're bored you're very thirsty that is something we can deal with we can go and search for vending machines so we can get drinks vending machines so we'll do one there and there we can get food vending machines there and there and that will help with those needs but obviously i think the goal is more so to build things like uh you know cafes and stalls and stands and things like that but i'm i'm sure vending machines will suffice for the time being i'm sure that's not gonna be a problem at all it might just lead to some pretty hefty queues for the vending machines but other than that should be fine i also want to point out the baggage claim area is literally just it just throws their bags on the ground and it's like here here you go that's yours i'm sure one of you, it belongs to someone I love that because we don't have baggage carousels, it just chucks it on the ground. That's great. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get my uh, my lovely carpet in here as well. And uh, I guess, I guess we build some uh, some more foundations. So this needs to be, I guess, six by six, and that should be fine. And if I search for a door, we want to do just a regular door there and uh that's gonna be the electrical room i've got no idea how that necessarily works but that's that's what that's gonna be and then looking at research it's still four hours remaining so that's fine i've got no idea if we're making money right now i'm not gonna lie i i probably should know that i probably should be checking these things but uh i mean let's let's have a look here so my credit worthiness is poor that's great credit report airport value bank loans etc etc so let's have a look here so runway usage so these are estimates runway usage estimate is 14,400 terminal is 14,180 the maximum staff expenses are 9,186 income tax is three, tax is 3,300 property tax 5,400 so the total at the end of the day should be plus 10,694 dollars that's that doesn't seem bad that that seems okay i'm i'm kind of okay with that that seems like a a bit of an income of the weather at the minute is is a bit of a worry all runways are currently inactive due to weather consider upgrading your runways to increase maximum allowed crosswind tolerances oh boy oh boy so if i was to upgrade you is that a thing i can do is the instrument landing system allows larger airplanes to conduct a precision uh, instrument approach maximum crosswind tolerance is increased from 12 to 20 knots this means fewer weather delays oh boy and then you maximum crosswind tolerance is okay so how does this work must be placed within six meters of runway limit two so if i was to put you there and I was to upgrade and get another one and put it there. I don't know if that's where they should be, but that's that's where they're going to be. And then the instrument landing system. Say. There. I don't know if that's going to be all that useful either, but it might help the runway a little bit. So the maximum crosswind is 20 knots. I mean, 24 knots is what the storm was right there, but I, I imagine that's going to help us out regardless we have this room down here i don't know if this is actually something we needed you know it to be this size or not but whatever let's go to electrical which is now that and if i have a look at this government grant 
zone, an electrical zone with an amplifier. So an amplifier is... So a public address system provides announcements, boarding calls, and last minute information. It helps prevent missed flights, though too many announcements may annoy passengers a bit too. And then this one is more speakers, more gates, slightly better sound quality. Okay, I feel like, so that can connect up to four speakers. I need to connect eight, so I might as well get the HD one, right? And we might as well place it here. So that'll be fine. And then I need to place the speakers. So speaker, wait, two-way speakers. I don't think, hold on, how does that work? Is this an info thing? I actually have no idea. I've, I've, got, I've got no idea how these things work. So PA speaker, I can sort of put it back there. I could have put them back there. But I guess what we do is PA speaker there and there. And that'll be for the gates. And then what we could maybe do is, I guess, a PA speaker back there and there. I don't know why I would need eight of these right now. That's that's a little confusing to me, why we would need eight of these things. That is that is a little bit weird. And then why we would need these ones as well. But I guess we'll do that. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I guess, I don't know, seven and eight. I don't know if we need that. I don't know. I don't know if we, I don't know if that's a thing we need or not, but it's what we're doing. And in terms of research, 22 minutes remaining on this. And then we can get a CTO, a chief technology officer, which is fantastic. Now looking in here, admin, sales rep, CTO. So do I need, hmm, do I need an office for you? Is that, is that a thing? I don't know if it is. Have I also completed that grant? Again, I, I have, I have no idea. I feel like I have, but I feel like they probably need an office. So if we look at staff again, manage admin, requires office. Yeah, it needs an office. So where am I going to put the office for the CTO? What size does an office even need to be? So office, it doesn't really say, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, so if we go to construction, we go to foundation and I do this, that's going to be four. I guess we just do that, right? So we'll build that. It'll get built in, in good time. We can go to door and just throw a little door right about there and we'll see how it turns out. And then how do I connect all this together? So what do you, what do you get connected to? Connect to this and I connect you to that. No, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay. So you get connected to this guy. That's all right. Can I connect you? Is it easier to do it this way? It absolutely is easier to do it this way. So that's all of those speakers getting assigned to that PA system, which seems fine. So now what do I do? So PA speaker, close, assign you. Okay. I don't know if that's too many speakers or not. I, I actually have no idea if that's too many speakers or not, but whatever. I guess, I mean, it was a challenge. The challenge is done. So we're probably all right. Anyway, this is all coming together, which is lovely. Let me go ahead and put a nice floor in there, which I think is going to be this nice kind of dark wood. And then the room next to it is going to be stone because it can be. Now, what does an office need? That's the next question. So it has to be fully enclosed, which it is. What does it need? What? I, I office, please. Why are you? Why are you having issues? So failed, it needs an office desk and an office chair. Okay. So if I search for office, an office desk can go there and an office chair can go there. And then do I assign this? Oh my God. Assign airline exclusivity office. Wait, I can put, oh my God. If I make it right. Good Lord. This is, this is, this is really, wait, that's a CTO. Never mind. I'm an idiot. It was a CTO's office that I needed. So is that grant now done? It is. I think I already knew that. What's the next one? Two runways. Nope. Not happening. Maximizing profits. 
Research and hire a CFO. Have a positive net profit at the end of the day, excluding grant income. Okay. Is there anything else that needs an office? Research finance. Build an office and put a CFO in it. Also, take a loan to finance construction. Sure. I'll do that. That 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 I will do. That's that's probably fair enough. So research, finance. It's going to take 10 hours. That's all right. That'll be the CFO office. They've got some windows. They've got some nice offices, I like to think. They're not the fanciest, but they do the job. And the airport is quiet, which is weird. It's really weird that the airport's quiet. But how do we do? We're, we're, it's rough. Money is rough, is what it is. Money is 4,894. Now it's up to 5,274 now. Still, money is, money is still rough. We've spent a lot on the airport here today. And we're probably going to end up spending a lot more. But at the very least, we have flights coming in. The airport is reasonably decorated. People seem to be reasonably happy with it. So, no complaints. Well, some complaints. But no major complaints thus far.